I'm gonna show you guys today how you can take an image from the website and transfer it to another block. Obviously, this has to be an image or on a surface that is 8 by 11 or whatever printer size paper you have so you can transfer it to that surface. Um, I hope that made sense. I'll show you guys what I mean. So I'm not gonna show you guys the actual thing, but this is actually the wall art. My sister had it and she asked me if I could paint something different on it because she didn't like the images on it. So I did it for her and now it's finished. She wanted a specific image for these two. So what I had to do is transfer the image to these blocks. Because they are smaller, it was easier to transfer them. This is really not my style. I don't paint like this usually, but she asked me if I could do this for her. And I said, yeah, why not? And by the end of this video, I'll show you guys who won the giveaway. I hope you guys enjoy. So here we go. Poof. The images that my sister wants, they are from, well, the first one is from artbox.com and you can purchase the, well, I mean, it's sold out, so I guess you can't, but that's it. The second one is from T-Hub and you can download like wall art from here. So yeah, just giving credit where credit is due. So save these images and now go to Adobe Photoshop, click on create new. I'm gonna title it as Mel's wall art. And now we're gonna change pixels to inches. I measured the frames and they are 5 at width and 6.9 at height. Because we're gonna place two images on one document, we're gonna click check on the artboards. Now that you have your document, we're gonna put more artboards. So go on layer, new, and artboard. Then this box will pop up, just say okay. Now we're gonna place embed the images by going to file, place embed, and then select your image and nicely size the image to the artboard size like this and then do all that again for the second artboard just like that quick now we're gonna make a couple changes to the images I'm gonna use the clone stamp tool. Basically what this tool does is it takes the patterns of the pixels and replicates it to another section that you want. Basically we're using the same pixels that I want on the parts that I wanna completely change or erase in a sense. And then we're gonna do all that to the parts that I wanna change or eliminate. Now for the luggage, my sister wants more of the little flowers, so I am replicating the image of the flower and placing them on the pattern that I saw that it was. Melissa also wanted me to take this text off, so I am using the clone stamp to do that as well. All right, so now my sister wants me to replicate the top portion of the kind of postcard looking kind of little tank and placing it onto the first image. We're using the rectangle marquee tool because it's the easiest way to select this little section. Once you're done playing around with how these layers merge together, we are going to print it! Yeah! Woo! So now that we have it printed, we can use a pencil and basically shade it all at the back. I'm using an 8B pencil because it is the darkest pencil I have. First, I mark where I'm going to shade. Oh, and for those that don't know what 8B stands for, basically the lead, there's a lead scale. 9B would be the darkest and 9H would be the lightest. Basically B stands for blackness and then H stands for hardness. Once you're done shading the two back sides, we are going to cut them. Now, this is how the little boxes looked before. And we're just gonna take the image away by putting acrylic paint on it. I'm using titanium white, and we're just gonna make sure that the image can't seep through our painting. You can use this kind of brush or use a sponge brush. Eh, sponge brush. <laughs> You can use a sponge bot. What the heck? 
the sponge brush and make sure when you're painting you're painting the same direction at the end so it stays the strokes the same at the end I had to do three coats of white paint and then I did the same thing for the edges Now that we have a white canvas, we can place the images that we put the lead all at the back and tape it. First I used artist tape, but then it wouldn't stick, so I just used regular tape on top of the artist tape. Now I'm taking a regular HB pencil and tracing all the lines that I see. Since the back is filled with lead, now that you're applying pressure, it is transferring the outlines of the image to the canvas. Ta -da! and do that for both of them. Now for the fun part, which is painting. I will be using acrylic paint, golden brown, black, pink chiffon, tan, brilliant red, cadmium orange hue, brilliant yellow, and deep yellow. I know, many yellows, but they're different. Uh, phthalo blue, what? I don't know if it's blue unbleached titanium, and finally, titanium white. And I occasionally use acrylic retarder, which slows down the drying process of the acrylic paint. And I'm just using a plastic plate to put the paint. And for this project, I will be using a variety size of paint brushes. And they're for the one and only Artist Loft. Since acrylic paint dissolves in water, we're gonna use this little cup to dissolve the acrylic paint. And now we start painting. So once I got to the text and the smaller details, I printed the images again and this time I used a sharpie to outline the small details. So when I flip it to the wrong side, I can see where exactly I need to pass it over with the lead pencil. I want to be precise with this because I don't want all the lead to smudge all over the painting. And once you cut that to a small section and tape it to the canvas, you can now start applying pressure with the pencil so you can transfer it. With a fine paintbrush, you can now start outlining it with acrylic paint and try to be careful. So now that we completed them, we are going to show my sister and get her reaction on it. <laughs> okay. Let me go bring her, okay? Alright, you have to close your eyes. Okay. okay. Close your eyes. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna show her. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Look. Oh, that's so cute. I love this stuff. It always reminds me of you. <laughs> that's so cute. I like the. I like it. 
The color makes really She cute. says that the egg, the Gudetama egg, looks like me because mm -hmm. why? Because of the floppy hat. It looks <laughs> stylish. <laughs> ah. And, and then, this is just like all three of us. Yeah. And oh, that me. is. Oh, I guess you would do that. And then that's me. And <laughs> Alejandra. If you guys don't know, I have another sibling. Um, she's the youngest, and her name is Alejandra. So that would be Alejandra. This would be Mimisa, <laughs> and then this would be me. I guess. I this is really cute. I know, right? And I like that. I was seeing the original one. It's like different figures, but like it still looks like that Louis Vuitton. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So cute. Yeah. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. All right, so she really liked it. To select the winner for the giveaway, I will show you guys how I selected the winner so you guys don't think I'm like preferring someone or anything like that. It is definitely just out of random selection from a website. So here we go. Rata de dos patas. Te estoy hablando a ti. All right, all right. The moment you have been waiting for. I just selected this wheelofnames.com website. I've never used it, this is my first time. So we're gonna put all the names that I saw on my Instagram post. Thank you so much for everyone that has participated. It means the world to me. I will be doing more giveaways in the future, so don't be sad if you don't win this time. There's other plenty of other times that you will have a chance. Oh, are we spinning it? We're spinning it. Who is it? Who is it? Hey, Leslie Gomez. Congrats, Leslie. I will be DMing you soon after I upload this video and we'll discuss what you would like for your 16 by 20 canvas painting. Okay, so I feel kind of nice today, so we're just gonna click it again and see who wins. Let's see, another winner, another winner is your soy dot Danny. Congrats, Danila. You are the second winner and I will be contacting you very soon. Thank you so much for those that entered in the giveaway and for everyone that has been supporting me for my videos, my art, my designs, my fashion designs. It really means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. It makes my day happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.